What is going on guys, Nitster here, back again with another video for you guys, and today man, we got a lineup update, uh, as you can see by the title. Um, this won't be my permanent lineup for the rest of the year, but this is my lineup I'm rocking with right now. Uh, first off, at the point guard position, we have to deal with my man, Derek Rose. Uh, I honestly was getting ready to uh, sell this target, get rid of him, because he just wasn't doing it for me, you know, after like a lot of the other great point guards came out. Um, I don't know, like, his, his biggest problem with me is his three ball, uh, and his free throw, I'd say, but his free throw at, and his three ball actually go up because they released an odd, a lot of dynamic duos, and it made D-Rose actually usable, so we're going to pair him up with my Diamond Jimmy Butler man, and as you can see, this Derek Rose did from, uh, up on the upper right, sorry, as you can see by the upper right part, uh, he goes from a 95 to a 98 overall. And, uh, yeah, man, this card becomes a beast. Like, his draw far goes to a 99 from, like, a 92, I think. And then his open shot 3 goes up to a 90, which is, makes it actually usable. Like, it's actually really good. Um, and then his free throw goes from, a, like, an 80, 86 from a, to a 92, which is really good, too. Uh, his defense goes up a little bit, which is great, and then his speed with ball and speed goes up to a 90, which only goes up one. He was already at 98, which is incredible, as it is already. And Jimmy Butler goes from a 93 to a 97, and the biggest problem with me with Jimmy Butler was, um, his three-pointer. His three-pointer was, uh, subpar. It was actually worse than Rose's. Uh, it was a 83, and then with the duo, it was a 98. Uh, however, his defense was still in, was, was still really good, and that's like one of the reasons why I used this card for so long. Uh, I did I did sell one of them. I did get a diamond shoe from playing my team online, and then I put it on Jimmy Butler, and then I sold Jimmy Butler for like 50k or something like that. And then I got Jimmy Butler, this Jimmy Butler again with the exact same diamond shoe for like 18,000 or 18k. Sorry, it's basically the same thing, but whatever. Um, I got him for 18k, and then uh, I sold him for 45. And then once it, once D Rose got the duo again, I was like, damn, I got by this Jimmy Butler all over again. So I bought him real quick. This one had the diamond shoe on him. So uh, yeah, I, I got him for like maybe 40k. So I mean, with the diamond shoe, you can't really go wrong. Because uh, I really do, I really do enjoy this Jimmy Butler, but. Uh, there are better cards coming out, and uh, this Jimmy Butler just wasn't doing it for me after so long. But after a shortened period of time, you know, it was time to, you know, find somebody different. So, uh, yeah, this Jimmy Butler is back in my lineup probably for the rest of the year. I say these two, as well as my center, that you guys will see soon, uh, will be my permanent uh, positions, starter positions in the game. And then at the three, we have my small forward, Kawhi Leonard. He's currently out of contrast, but we'll fix that. Uh, this Twilight Leonard man is actually pretty good. I do not want to lie right now, uh, or I'm not going to lie right now. Um, he's actually really good, like, with, and this one has also has a diamond shoe I got for, like, 40k. Um, and then if you pair him up with his, uh, with this LaMarcus Aldridge, which is my power forward, uh, they are also a duo. So, this Kawhi goes from a 94 to a 96, and this uh, LaMarcus goes from a 94 to a 95. This LaMarcus is actually really good. Um, I was playing my friend, and he was just destroying me with him. Like, I don't know what it is. Uh, but this Kawhi has a diamond shoe. Uh, I forget exactly what it does, but I think it raises his, like, draw foul and stuff, and his speed of ball. Um, but his three-pointer goes up to, like, a 94. Uh, hold up, I went too far. Uh, open shot three, yep, 90, oh, 95, sorry. Um, and then his free throw was a 98, which is really good. Ball control, so he can speed boost at the 85. Um, so yeah, this is, this, this fly is really good. Uh, is really good. I might actually, you know, sell him, uh, because it has the diamond shoe. I know it might be worth a little bit more than what he's actually going for. Uh, but I might keep this with Aldridge. And for the center position, we have none other than the greatest center in the game, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I don't think I'll ever get rid of this card. Uh, this card is too much of a beast. 
Plus he has um, 11 Hall of Fame badges, which is insane. At the backup point guard position, we have my man John Wall, which I, I feel like is probably the greatest point guard in the game uh, without a duo. Uh, with the duo with Br uh, Bradley Beal, he does get kind of an upgrade. Uh, and it does make him, he, he personally, in my opinion, is better than Rose with, uh, but with Rose with the duo is better than Wall. Uh, but, like, without the duo, uh, Wall's probably better. Um, but I really do like, uh, this, keep this Wall on my bench for storing purposes. Uh, I might have to sell him, though, because I am really low on MT, as you can see, down at 2,500. Um, so I might have to sell him, and I picked up some of the really cheap players. Uh, because, or not really cheap players, but a lot of the players are cheap right now because of the auction, or auction house, uh, crash. So, yeah, I might have to sell the Diamond John Wall and get him back later in the future. I definitely will because this John Wall is the beast. Uh, basically for his speed and his dunking, I really do enjoy speed and dunking. As well as his open, 90 open shot 3. That, his jumper is so good, man. His release is cash. At the backup 2 spot, we have Ruby Malcolm Brogdon, or Brogdon, or whatever, how you pronounce his name is. He is actually a budget beast. I do enjoy running him at the 2, but as I said before, uh, this lineup will change. I'm not going to sell Brogdon, but uh, he will get replaced eventually down the line. At the backup 3, we have Gordon Hayward. Uh, he's actually, I really like his release. But he's not my type of player. He really isn't. I figured he'd be better at what I do. Um, but he, he he's a good card uh, if you're a spot-up shooter. But, like, if you're not a spot-up shooter, then I don't feel like he's really the type of player for you. But he is a good card, no, nonetheless. The backup four, we have Rudy Gobert. And uh, these two are a duo, so this... Go, uh, Hayward goes up from a 94 to a 95, and then Gobert goes up to a 96 from a 95. Um, so this Gobert is actually really good on defense, and that's basically the reason I got him. Um, so he's 7 1, and do I really even need to say anything else? Like, uh, his free throw, I wish, was a little bit better. He cannot choose worth crap, uh, but his defense is really good, and he's 7 one if I didn't say that already uh, so yeah that's uh, I do I do like Rudy Gobert down there give me another presence alongside my cheesy center backup or backup center Yao Ming uh, I don't even really need to explain Yao Ming because you should probably all know by now Yao Ming is a cheat code in, the, in my team uh, so yeah and then for like the last three spots we're gonna fill it in with uh, with some uh, reward cards that you don't really need to play uh, but I have them in there just uh, because I don't I don't do many minutes or nothing but yeah this is my lineup uh, this will change and I will give you guys another lineup video when this lineup is like fully like changed uh, like I said the only ones I can see staying is probably Rose Butler maybe Aldridge Kareem and Yao. Yao's probably staying. I'm just going to say that right now. Um, but yeah, I'll inform you guys when my lineup changes. Uh, I'll probably won't have as many diamond cards, but you know, it'll be for the better. And if I do, you know, that's great. If I don't, oh well. Uh, but there are some uh, amethysts that actually play better than some diamonds. I do. I have learned that. Um, so yeah, once again guys, thank you guys for watching, have a nice day, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out everybody.